Hi guys, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Garula and the cops right in front of us in the road. What the... Just look at that. <laughs> Crazy, hey? I told you, hey? That's nature for you. Absolutely unbelievable. Just to let you know, this is the first time I'm seeing leopard cubs this small. The first cub I saw was quite bigger at about six, six months old when I saw them for the first time. My leopard cubs is the smallest leopard cubs I've seen. Unbelievable. Mom just came out a bit and bring the babies with. Oh, ain't she magnificent. Yo, if I were a male leopard, eh, she would have been in trouble. <laughs> Unbelievable creatures. Folks, at uh, the moment, as you know, Gorula, um, being a leopard, it is our, um, it is the world, let emphasize on the world's most secretive cat. And we've got them here in Salvi Sands, uh, unbelievable experience. Well, Salvi Sands is the best place in the world to come to see leopard. So I just think we're going to hang around with him for a while and see if he's cleaning them a bit and sneak a bit closer maybe if we can see what they're up to. Okay. We don't need any light or anything on, on them. No, for the moment it's all right. Look at that, ain't they? Ain't they cuties? Just look at that. And, and look at that tail coming up. That, that half a sea. And, and that white tip on the tail. You can always see a leopard walking around. And you see the tail above the back flicking up like that. And you just see they're full of attitude. You know, they're very confident when the tail goes up. They're just showing off to you watching her that, hey, I'm boss around here. And I'm full of confidence. Leopards are extremely powerful animals. Um, me, for instance, or poor um, Herman at the back there, we don't stand a chance against that female that she decides to take one of us out. We won't be able to stand a chance. Um, for, for her, she's about, I don't know, roughly maybe 10, 12 meters away from the car. Um, it would be less than a second for her to be here with us on the car if she really wanted to. And, uh, the, the top speed of these animals, if they come at you, is about... 20, 22 to 24 meters per second. So they extremely lightning fast animals and extremely powerful. If you think um, uh, the the heaviest um, leopard recorded was around this area, Kruger, um, was uh, I think 92 kilograms if I remember correctly. And um, th these cats are cats are able to pull up a tree, double their own, own body weight. So if Karula is weighing, well she looks good like a 40, maybe even 45 kilograms, she could drag me up a tree easy. So I wouldn't be a match for her. All stations, one Mapazi Ingwe and two Mampimpan on Twin Bands Road close to the junction of the road that comes down from quarantine. You can just see mom is just look You can see the one cup that's closest to us is just curious and the other one has already moved off. Maybe it's a young boy. Yeah, they're disappearing around the corner. Let's just sneak up with them.
no, don't they look like you just take them home tonight and cuddle with them? Oh, the cuties. And our leopards, cubs at, at this stage, obviously they will be vulnerable to all other predators like lions or hyenas. Look, look at them, they're playing there, look at them, they're stalking each other. That's very important in the cat society. That obviously um, prepares them for real life when they have to hunt one day. Very vulnerable at this stage as well because um, they are direct competition for the same food source as lions and hyenas. So they kill each other in the effort of eliminating the competition. This road? Twin Dam Road. Twin Dam Road. Yeah. In the junction? Uh, I don't know the junction, it's close to Gauri Dam. So I've already called it. Don't okay. worry about it. You can see, um, look at the attention. Look, he was focusing on something there. Because he probably heard or saw something for a moment. Um, check it out and then and then she relaxed. You can see uh, the, the body, body language changed completely and she's moving off. Maybe it was in Pala or she thought it was maybe a a possible prey item. Our Karula is really a, a, a good mother. She's got two cubs now. In the pre previous letter, I'm under correction. If she did, did raise both both cubs, did she? Yeah. So she's really a good mother. She knows how to take this care. This is her third litter, and uh, every time she's had two cubs at a time, two females first, then two males, and now we think this is a male and a female. She's raised all of them successfully. Yeah, you know, um, Herman just told me that um, Kalula, the first litter was was uh, two males and then no, two females. Two females and then two males. Sorry about that. Two females and then two males and then this litter. So it's three letters, It's six leopards that she's given to us already. So that's wonderful. And um, we think that this might be um, a, a male and a female cub. Try to sneak a little, sneak a little bit forward. This is just starting to head off into the bush. There's definitely something there that caught her attention. Maybe we should sit a while and see what she's doing. Obviously, you can see the kids is not interested. They all rely on mom to bring the, the meat back. And at this stage, they will probably have their, um, they still have their baby teeth in. So they still drink a lot of milk. It just looked like they, like she would start introduce them. They're on the size where she would start introducing them to 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 meet. So viewers, if if you know how old these cubs are, if you can please let me know um, how old they are. I, I reckon I'm just get, taking a wild guess. If you can be more accurately, please. Uh, I judge them about uh, three and a half to three and a half, maybe four months old. 
I would like to hear what you think as well and find out how old they really are. We back. I'm I'm ex ex um yeah ecstatic. That's the word I'm looking for. Ecstatic. Absolutely. The only problem I've got is um, I can't touch them. <laughs> I always I still got the thing about animals and touching them. Eh? I'm just glad for for you, the viewers as well. That you at least got to see your favorite favorite girl or the queen. I think yes, she's known around here. Just look at that tail, eh? Constantly going. You can look at that swishing. It shows you that it's a cat that's got something on her mind, eh? She's got a plan. It's difficult to say now, maybe it was daylight and we got the binocs out, you can probably have a good look at that plane, you can see it's a male or a female, but, but they're still small, at this stage you can't really see, maybe when they get a bit older you will see, um, as the body takes shape, um, the more muscular one will probably be, be the male cup, if there is a male and a female at the moment. So when they're next to one another you can clearly see the one is a bit bigger than the other. Yeah, yeah um, Herman just said that if they're next to each other you can you can already see a difference in size between the two cups so you know, uh, maybe it's a, one is a male and one is a female you never know or maybe the one is just out competing the other one for milk it looks like they heading off there is definitely something there that caught, caught her attention maybe she heard something in the bushes there and she's trying to hunt And what makes it even um, more exciting, um, folks, is that um, our our living quarters, our houses where we where we live in, is not too far from here. Probably three, four hundred meters even. So it gives it a very nice, ex exciting feeling, knowing you're you're at home at night and, and knowing that this leopard is could be could be in your garden for all that it's worth. So you never know what's around it. it so it helps you to grow grow eyes in the back of your head just to keep out because you never know who, who might be looking at you um, Fred, uh, Fred wants to know how long it takes before the leopard cubs start hunting for their own food um, Fred here from how is it two years I would say leopard cubs um, keep in mind they, that they are leopards and um, that they hunt a very big variety of food they would take anything from that um, um, three agama we saw up to a baby buffalo in between doesn't matter if it's a bird or amphibian a reptile or whatnot so mom has really got her work cut out to teach these cubs to hunt a specific animal I have seen um, in other reserve the female actually um, blowing the whistle and, and warning uh, 
a, a war talk that the cup was talking it and she knew that the cup wasn't ready to take on that war talk and he could have been or she could have been actually killed or very badly injured. So from about two years onwards they would start hunting animals like for example vervet monkeys or takers it is quite harmless and as they get older they would um, get more more bigger and stronger and more confident in their hunting skills and they would move on to more dangerous play, prey like like the war talk or baby buffalo even if they if they're really clever they were later, later on taking that down or an impala even so from about two years it probably depends um, at the situation let's say something happens to the mother for example at a year and a half and then the cub is forced to start hunting earlier so it's very difficult to say um, they're all different I don't know, you, you probably didn't hear it, but we just heard, um, she's still sitting there, you can probably see her. Um, there was just Impala's um, alarm calling just now, snorted, that something is not right. It actually looks like she's heading towards us now. Put a little bit of spotlight just in front of her. Mind your head, mind your head. Just look at the eyes shining. I'm not shining directly in her eyes. It's just the light bouncing off the ground. So I'm actually shining on the ground. There's a little bit of a puddle there as well. Did you see the eyes right reflecting? Now look at the cups coming right next to us as well, folks. There, there's one. She just obviously she looked back. There's them coming. So she's already taking them out on a hunt. And then they obviously have to watch and learn from mom how to behave. And here's the second one coming as well. Just have a look here. It's about at nine o'clock here is coming. Yeah, mom just assessed the situation here and I think she's quite relaxed with that. Alright. Just want to see what's around us here. Maybe there's something. I don't think there would be anything on this side um, that the parlors already blow the alarm whistle. Yeah, let's see if we can sneak slightly forward and see if we can get a nice look of them. I mean, after all, these leopard. Yeah, the one is just here on the on the on the right hand side. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that question. Um, I didn't got that full question. Maybe 
Uh, Mark, um, maybe we'll just come through a bit later again. I'll be more than happy to answer that for you. Mark, yeah, the speed, um, like your your leopards, they're not really um, um, runners. Um, they're more ambush hunters, so short bursts of short, uh, of powerful speed, um, quick speed. Um, 86, hey, that um, 24, 24 meters a second that they can charge if they're really angry and charging down at the animal. That can be up to 86 kilometers an hour. So they're very quick, very quickly, and um, very quick over a short distance. Let's say um, that's over 80 or, or 100 meters, if it even is that far, that they would run to run down an animal. Normally, it would be less than 100 meters that they would run after an animal. Now, folks, um, we're just going to to leave her. In, in peace, we see she's busy hunting, don't want to want to bother her too much in the animals around her. So we give unfair advantage to, to either party. Right. Let's go see what, what else we can find. Maybe we're lucky.